Innovate UK's Net Zero Heat Programme is driving faster innovations so the UK prospers from moving completely off gas for heating, space and water in buildings. The Net Zero Heat cohort are UK companies that will play a huge role in delivering this and we're working collectively to overcome barriers to their growth and scaling out. We'd like to share their stories. Guru Systems was founded about 11 years ago uh, by our CEO, Casey Cole. Um, he's come out of sort of 10, 15, 20 years of working in the low carbon energy sector. He chose heat because it's the biggest problem, it's the biggest challenge. So if he wants to make the biggest impact he can on the world in the future, it's delivering low carbon heat. In the UK, around a quarter of all carbon emissions are generated from heating our buildings. This is the single biggest challenge to moving towards a net zero future. So that big challenge for Guru is a big opportunity. So Guru Systems provides market leading technology and data platforms for heat networks, heat pumps and gas boilers. Uh, we provide data analytics platforms and we're also able to make remote changes to the equipment that we monitor. So we're delivering these services primarily to developers and also uh, network operators and landlords, uh, but it's the residents and our planet who benefit at the end. A lot of the new technologies especially, uh, like heat networks or heat pumps, have a lot of promise and actually work really well, but inevitably aren't installed or commissioned or maintained very well. And so you end up with a lot of distrust in the community. So we have to increase that trust. We have to make sure people accept the new technology because if they don't accept it, we're not gonna to get to net zero heat. That's where we fit in. If we can help people understand that the heating systems are working to spec and understand how efficiently they're working and build trust back in, then we win. Guru's been going for about 10 years now. You could argue that we've had heaps of breakthroughs and eureka moments. Uh, the most recent one I can think of is the ability for our new hardware to connect with heating equipment like heat pumps directly. That not only allows us to monitor them and monitor the error codes and see if something's going wrong, but it also allows us to change the settings remotely, to, to make fixes remotely. Now, that doesn't sound like much, but it's actually a game changer because that means that a maintenance engineer doesn't have to go through the front door of that house. So that reduces costs, it reduces the ability to make sure the heating systems are working efficiently, uh, and it makes everybody happier. So the Net Zero Heat cohort has been really, really useful in terms of linking us up with like-minded companies who are working in the same space, facing the same problems. Those problems can be commercial, technological, but also regulatory. So how do we navigate the market that we find it? How do we all not make the same mistakes twice? Uh, so by working together, we can solve those problems a lot more efficiently and effectively. And that's, that's the true value. It's not necessarily a direct technological benefit or a direct commercial benefit. It's actually just a peer group understanding that actually uh, you're not the only one out there with that problem and there are lessons you can take from others.